Hey guys, it's Riley and Adriana with this week's Shark Fight. May 5th is a band trip. May 9th is a choir or musical. May 16th is a band concert. On May 19th is early release. Kindergarten through first grade award ceremony is on May 30th. The second and third grade award ceremony is May 31st. The science SSA is on May 2nd. The math FSA is May 3rd and 4th. Algebra ESC is on May 9th and 10th. Civics ESC is May 15th. May 22nd is a marine biology field trip to the Dry Trip Studios. This has been Riley and Adriana with this week's Shark Bite. Bye! This is Eve and Rachel, and we're here with PBIS Shark of the Month. For 8th grade, Miss McKenzie's class is a Andres Kunke. For Miss Bertini is Aaliyah O'Brien. For Miss McKnight is Elizabeth Reynolds. For Miss Vasquez is Gemma Egan. And for Miss Fairbrother is Amelia Marks. For 7th grade, Ms. Parker's class is Iris Daniels, and Mr. Jones' class is Jaden Lenore, and for Mr. Roy is Megan Woodley. And last for 6th grade, and Ms. Smith is Samantha Steph Steffens. Ms. Ellerby is Sebastian Grudgroom. Grud Ms. Retsky is Maddie Marciniak, and for Coach Gerardo is Lauren Perez. This has been Izzy and Rachel with the PBS Shark of the Month. We are sorry if any names were mispronounced. Hi, it's Jen and this is St. Clair. We are here with this week's lunch. On Monday, we are having corn dog with sweet potato wedges and baked beans. On Tuesday, we are having pepperoni pizza with garden salad and California veggie blend. On Wednesday, we are having chicken tenders with dinner roll and whipped potato with gravy. On Thursday, we are having chicken parmesan with pasta and seasoned broccoli. On Friday, we are having cheeseburger on bun, tater tots, and garden salad. With every meal, you get assorted juice, fruit, and milk. That's all for now. Bye! Hello, members. This is Tech Key West. Let's get into it. On Friday, high tide will be at 12:19 a.m. and at 11:40 p.m. The first low tide will be at 5:09 a.m. and at 6:20 p.m. On Saturday, high tide will be at 1:11 a.m. and at 12:26 p.m. Low tide will be at 5:52 a.m. and at 7:15 p.m. On Sunday, high tide will be at 2.07 a.m. and at 1.17 p.m. Low tide will be at 6.40 a.m. and at 8.15 p.m. This has been the tides. Bye! Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Chloe. And you're watching Cutest, Cutest Creatures. Creatures. Wait, Chloe, are you free to tell them something? Oh, yeah. This week we're doing Cutest, Cutest Creatures, Creatures Kitty Edition. Edition. First on our list is the ragdoll. The ragdoll kitten is one of the largest cat breeds and can grow up to 48 inches tall. Second on our list is the Siamese. This portion of the Siamese cat is Kevin. Third on the list is the Bengal. The Bengal cat loves water unlike other cats. Last but not least is the Munchkin cat. It was given its name because it was tiny it likes its paws. Well, this has been Natalie and Chloe with your Cutest, cutest Creatures Kitty Edition. Hi, my name is Peyton. And my name is Matt. And we are here with your NBA playoffs. The Warriors have won their series in Portland and swept the series 4 0. The Cavaliers have also swept their series 4 0 against the Pacers. The only good games are the Boston Chicago series, where the road team has won every game. The Bucks Raptors series are tied 2 to 2. This has been Peyton and Matt with your NBA playoffs. Hi, this is Jamal. And Sam, with presidential highlights. Donald Trump was born in New York City in 1946, becoming the oldest president at inauguration when elected as a Republican in the 2016 election. He is the richest president ever with a net worth of over $4 billion, beating the second place contender George Washington, who is estimated to have been worth about $500 billion. His campaign was extremely controversial among Americans, and the election was very closely contested. Trump losing the popular vote, but winning in the Electoral College. Trump is the only president to have no prior political or military experience. He is the 45th and current president of the United States. This has been Jamal and Sam with the presidential highlights. This is Chloe and it's St. Clair. We are here with your top five songs. To start us off, five is something just like this by Chainsmokers and his cold fight. Number four is Love on the Brain by Rihanna. Number three is I Feel It Coming by The Weeknd. Number two is That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. Number one is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. 
For your information, these songs are chosen how much they are requested on local radio station 92.7. This has been Chloe and Aunt Claire with your top five popular songs. Bye! Hi, it's Juan and Jalen with your top ten most downloaded apps. In tenth place, we have Spotify Music. In ninth, we have Netflix. In eighth, we have Pandora. In seventh, we have Google Maps. In sixth, we have YouTube. In fifth, we have Facebook. Fourth, we have Instagram. In third, we have Pokemon Go. And in second, we have Messenger. And finally, we have Snapchat. This has been Juan and Jalen with your top ten most downloaded apps. It's Rachel and Claudia here at this week's French lesson. This week we are learning numbers, numbers 1 through 10. 1 in French is un, 2 is do, 3 in French is toi, and 4 is car. 5 in French is si, 6 is si, 7 is set, and 8 in French is we. And 9 is no. And finally 10 in French is die. Count to 10 in French. Un, du, toi, casse, si, set, we, nu, die. This has been Rachel and Claudia with your French lesson. Bye. Hi, this is Carter and Isaiah with your world records. On September 25th, 2010, they baked a 3,699 pound pumpkin. Far surprise, surpassing their prior record of 2,020 pounds. The world's largest pumpkin pie was made in New Bremen, Ohio. This pie was 20 feet in around and weighed 3,699 pounds. The world's longest yard sale. The 127 yard sale is commonly referred as the world's longest yard sale. That's because it really it is the longest yard sale in the world. To be exact, it's 690 miles long and the route travels through six states, Michigan, Ohio, Kennedy, Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama. This is Ben Carter. And Isaiah with her board record. Plus Claudia and Gabby here with this week's Conspiracy Theory. Today we'll be talking about the conspiracy theory of secret societies, more specifically about the Illuminati. The Illuminati is a secret society that promotes members such as famous actors, singers, or political figures. The Illuminati was first introduced in 1776 by a man named Adam Wessup, who was a German philosopher. Many people debate this secret group was made to promote equality and freedom throughout society while others have said the aim was to combat religion and foster rationalism in its place. Now in this conspiracy theory think that the Illuminati has to do with celebrities and the government and what they are doing. For example, a few theories of the Illuminati is that the government is hiding actual evidence of aliens or artists' songs or sending subliminal messages in their lyrics. Well, what do you think? This has been Gabby. And Claudia with this week's conspiracy theory. Hi, I'm Haley. And I'm Jaden. And, and we're here with our mythical creatures. This week is the dragon. A dragon is a legendary creature typically scaled or fire spinning with serpentine, reptilian, or avian traits that features in many myths of cultures around the world and has been shown in many movies. One of them is The Hobbit. And here are some facts. The first fact is a dragon not only can manipulate fire, but some can even manipulate other elements. The second fact is the dragon can live in the mountains, seas, and skies. The third fact is the dragon is known to have an obsession with gold. And that has been our mythical creatures. Thanks for watching.